Now, how much of a fight did you, how much did you resist him taking off your clothes? I didn't. That's the terrible part. You didn't resist him taking off your clothes? You didn't tell him no when this was going on? No? I didn't say anything. I was too scared. What are you scared of? I don't know. I was just scared because he was taking off my clothes. And what are you scared of? Everything that was going on. Like, why wouldn't you be scared? But I have to be scared of something. I mean, if I walk into a dark room, I'm not just scared. I'm scared that maybe there's someone because there hiding in the dark, right? Because he was on top of me. And what are you scared of? Like, I'm trying to get that. Him hurting me. Do you think if you said no, he would attack you more? I didn't. I don't know. Like I said, I didn't really know him. Did he say anything to make you believe he would attack you more? No. Did he threaten you at any point during this? No. So now what we're going from is you saying that you didn't consent. I didn't consent. I didn't, I just From didn't a point anything. where yesterday you said that you were telling him, no, I don't want to, no, I don't want to, no, I, I don't want to. I did say that when he was kissing me. I didn't say that when he was on top of me. And I told him it once when I pushed, tried to push him off. Mm -hmm. That's the only time I said it. Mm -hmm. You said you lied to your foster dad when he first picked you up. Because I didn't want him to get in trouble. He has a baby on the What way. did you tell him? What was the lie? I told him that it was actually his friend. What was his friend? That did this to me. So you told him that you were raped. Is that what you said? You Did you say mm -hmm. I was raped or did you say I was, I was taken advantage of? Yeah, I said I was taken advantage of. Okay. And how did he interpret that? Well, he took me to the hospital. No, but how did he interpret that? Like, did he assume that that meant that you were sexually raped? Yeah. Yeah? I think so. Okay. And then you told him a lie that it was some other mystery person that did this to you? Mm -hmm. And he didn't take you to the hospital then? No, he still did because he he, th he knows there was... It happened, he just didn't believe that it was by that person. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm still a little concerned with a lot of this stuff though. Mm -hmm. And I think I need you to be a little more honest with me about something. I am stuff. being honest. I didn't consent, but I didn't say no. So you just went along with it? I was scared. I didn't know what else to do. So what are you scared of now? For him, like, I just... I don't want him to get in trouble because he has a baby on the way. You're scared for him? You're not scared for anything else? And other girls, like, I have a friend and, and she said that two nights ago he tried to do something like this with her, but she said no because, I don't know, she just has better reactions, I guess. And since she said no, he stopped? And since you didn't say no, he didn't stop? Pretty much. Okay. Did you want to go to the hospital? Yes, I did because I, I wanted justice and I don't think I'm going to get that. What do you mean by justice? I wanted, I wanted someone to know. And what does telling people get you? gets me help with this stuff. What kind of help do you need? I need help to recover from it because I was molested by my grandfather. Yeah, I, <clears throat> I, I do remember hearing about that and I'm I'm not going to I know. Lie. And That's horrible, okay? I'm going to tell you right now, that is awful. nobody believed but me then and nobody believes me now. Well, I have no reason to disbelieve what happened in your past, okay? Um, but I do have a lot of concerns about your story here. And when you keep telling me, yes, I said no, but I didn't say no. Well, but I didn't fight him back, but then we went to I the bus no together afterwards. Was, I said no when he was kissing me, but I didn't say no when he was doing anything to me. Mm -hmm. So are you getting the help you want now that you've expressed what happened to you? Do you feel like you're getting the help you need? No, I feel like people are just going to do what they did when my grandfather did this. And what's that? They're just going to ignore it. 
Well, you understand now that the police have it. We can't ignore it. You understand that when you admit that when you come to the police and tell them that a crime has occurred and you've been drugged and raped, that people need to go I to was jail, drugged, right? Though I didn't know if I was drugged or just feeling sick. Okay, but when you say you think you've been drugged and I've been raped, people need to go to jail. There's I no know. other way around that, right? Yes, I know. Did that. you know that before you came to us and told us that? Yes. And did, were you hopeful that the person that raped you would go to jail? I at was the time? half and half because I I wanted him to, but I didn't want to because I wanted him to because it, like people like that shouldn't be on the street. But at the same time, I didn't want him to because he had a baby on the way. I thought you didn't find out about the baby until today. No, I found out like when we were when we were going up to the bus stop. He told me. I thought you said Cor Corey told you. No, Corey told me his last name. Okay, so he told you he had a baby coming. Yeah, I said that when we were walking up to the bus stop. We were talking about the baby. Mm-hmm. Okay. Are you concerned you might have gotten pregnant? Is that one of the things you're concerned about? Well, it was, and then this, I got the morning after pill from the hospital. So now you're okay with that? Mm-hmm. Is that one of the things you wanted from the hospital? Yeah. Kind of to seal of the deal that you're not going to get pregnant from this guy? Mm -hmm. Obviously or you don't. STIs or anything. Yeah. But he wore a condom, right? I think, so. yeah, he did. Do you remember what color it was? No. No? Do you remember, remember him putting it on? Yeah. Yeah? How long did it take him to put the condom on? Like five seconds. Five seconds still from the package and put the condom on? Pretty much. Did you do anything to get away at that point? I moved closer to the corner of the bed. Into the corner of the room? Like into the corner of the wall? Yeah. Yeah? I was really freaked out. Okay. Were you... Uh, now I'm going to ask some uncomfortable questions here because I need to know. Were you at all turned on during this at all? No. Even a little bit? No. Physically you weren't at all responsive to his advances? Even maybe... Um, Subconsciously? Maybe subconsciously, but no, not. I was really scared. Okay. Because you understand that when a guy tries to have sex with a female and the female is completely unwilling, it's very difficult. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it hurt a lot. It hurt a lot? At the beginning? For the whole thing. Okay, and how does that compare to experiences you've had in the past sexually? It didn't hurt this much. Like, I actually bled yesterday in my underwear. Okay. And where's, where's that underwear now? It's evidence somewhere. Oh, we have it? Yeah. Okay. Um, did the doctor give you any inclination about what happened? Did they tell you anything that you need to get checked further or we want you to come back and get examined or see a family doctor? Um, they want me to go get checked for AIDS in like three months. Mm hmm I think that's it. Okay. Are you scared about that? No, I don't know. I don't know what his history is and I just try not to think of it. Um, you do understand just to kind of give you some relief that a condom mm -hmm. is a pretty good way to avoid getting a sexually transmitted mm -hmm. disease um, just so you're not losing sleep over that mm -hmm. right okay is that was that one of your concerns at the time though yeah. yeah okay is part of the reason you came up with this in the first place and told us about and told your foster dad about this is because you were scared you might be pregnant and you needed the pill no, it was more because I just got taken advantage of and I didn't consent to it. I was just really scared at the time. Okay. And I trust my foster dad. Yeah, he's a pretty good guy. It's good. Is there anything else you need to tell me? No. Honestly. Honestly. I just wonder why, like, every time people have different reactions or they don't remember everything, why you guys attack us. Who's you guys? The police. I feel attacked because I have a different reaction to everything and I don't remember everything. And people just don't believe me. 
because of my reaction and because of I don't remember everything. Okay. I don't want to talk anymore because I'm, I'm not going to get anywhere with it. But you do remember a lot of things. I do remember, but not everything. It seems to me, like, I mean, this is my notes from me listening over and over again to the statement you gave yesterday, right, right here. Not even to what happened today and what we've talked about. You remember everything. But not clearly, like, it's hard to explain. But I understand clearly. I mean, what you're telling me paints a very clear picture to me of what happened. But you I remember didn't specifics. To it. I didn't necessarily say no, but I didn't consent to it. Like, I said no a couple times, but... Then you went along with it. Everyone has a different reaction. And I'm not allowed to. You are allowed to have a different reaction. What you're not allowed to do is lie. I'm not lying, though. And when you start telling things that are inconsistent... I, it... I don't even... I just want to go. You understand, though, that you've made an allegation here of a sexual I, assault. I'm not... Something I didn't that want to ever go through with it because I knew that this would happen. Okay. But if you were being 100% truthful with me, this would have been a lot smoother. I am. But you haven't been. You know that. You know that Tell there's been Tell me what things. I haven't been truthful about. There's been quite a few things. <laughs> you told the constable last night a lot of things that are different from today. You told him things you didn't remember. You said that you went on the bus and the next thing you remember is being at his house. Today we sit down and talk about it. You remember all sorts of things. You remember conversations. You remember more about the water bottle. It's been a day. I've been able to remember more. Mm -hmm. I didn't remember everything last night. Because it was late at night and I was scared. Okay. I don't want to talk about it. I never wanted to do anything about it, so I just wanted to go to the hospital and get the examination. But do you understand that an investigation like this costs a lot of money and takes a lot of time? I never said I wanted to. But now we're it here. Wasn't my here okay? It wasn't my choice to be here. I know it's not, but now we are. And now we at least need to get somewhere to at least put some closure to this, okay? Now go ahead. You do know that we need to get some closure to this. I don't want to talk anymore, though. So we're just going to leave this as an open-ended thing, it's, and we may it's have to done. go. And There's nothing more to say. You guys don't believe me, so I'm not gonna. So now I have to go and deal with this fellow, and I have to go and potentially get criminal no, charges you don't up have against to him. Go talk to him. You can I do. Talk to him if you want. I do have to go talk to him. Want to do, but it's not a choice for me. Then, I have to. Then how do you want me to close it? To lie and say, oh, he didn't do anything. It was all my imagination. I don't want you to lie. I want no lies. I'm not lying, though. I didn't consent to this. Okay. But at the same time, there's a lot of things here that are not right. Right? You have to, then, do, do you what understand? Do you want me to say? Do you understand some of my concerns? I want to ask you that. Do you? No, I don't know what you're talking about. You don't understand any of my concerns? No. You think that I should just believe you flat out and that I shouldn't ask hard questions? Is that I, what you think? No, I I just don't know what you're talking about. My concerns? My, my concerns means I have 
really difficult questions because there's things in here that not only don't make sense, and I'll, I'll, give you the, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. If your reaction is wrong, and if instead of running away screaming out of the house like you see on movies, you maybe hesitate and think something, I can agree with that. But when I'm getting things on paper and things from you today that are different, you know, and when you're telling me, oh, I didn't consent, I said no, I said no. Oh, but I told him I was on birth, I wasn't on birth control, and so he had to use a condom. I didn't... Uh, never mind. Please help me. Please help I, me that's to all you need to know. There's nothing more. I'm, whatever I say, you're not going to believe it, so no. I'm not saying anything more. That's it. That's the end. Nobody, nobody needs to deal with this. It can just be dropped. But we have to deal with this the way Why? it sits right now. Because we still have you alleging that you were raped and drugged I, by a man I, I against your will. I never said I was drugged. I said I might have been drugged. Okay. So if we go and we do a search warrant and tear his entire house apart, are we going to find date rape drugs in his house? I don't know. I've, I've only ever been to his house one time. Okay. Where's this water bottle now? In a recycling, a public recycling bin somewhere. Where? I don't know, probably in a landfill bin, or not in a landfill. Where did you put it? In a, I don't know, in a recycling bin. In like... That's pretty important evidence, right? This may have traces of a date rape drug in it. Where's that water bottle? It was in a public recycling bin, I don't know. Which public recycling bin? I don't know, I don't really think of when I put it in. But if you were thinking after the fact, oh my goodness, and you start playing it together, oh my goodness, you may have put some drugs in my water. You I, may go, go back and think, think where did that I put right that water away, bottle? Though. I didn't think that of anything like that. Mm -hmm. I can tell you where I threw my coffee cup from this morning at 6 o'clock in the morning and there's nothing special about that. Yeah, but I don't remember Why can't you those tell me? things. Because no. I don't know where I put it. Did you throw it in a recycling bin at the bus stop? I think so. Was it the downtown bus stop? I think it, no, it was the one at, um, at West Bank Exchange. At Stevens Road? No, up by Savon. At Savon? Yeah. So this was after you guys came back from his house that you got rid of the water bottle? Yeah, I still had it. And I, there wasn't any water in it, but I still had it. So at least I know where I can go and look, because obviously you know I still have to do a lot of investigating, right? You have your understanding of that? Yes. Yeah. I just want to drop it. I don't want anything done about it, because it's not going to get anywhere. It's not. Okay. Nobody's going to believe me, so. But I want to believe you. You know I that, right? And I want to be able to that. help you. But I have to be able to rationalize these hard questions. I don't remember everything, okay? Okay. And I'm not making this stuff up. I just want to leave right now. Can I leave? The door's open if you want to go. I just want to... But I still have questions. And I still want to be able to help you. Okay, ask the questions so we can get it done with. Okay. What would you have to gain by not telling the truth about something like this? What do you nothing. get? Nothing. That's the point. That's why I'm not lying. But There's you, okay. nothing to gain. What have you gained in the past from being dishonest about things? Nothing. And don't tell me you've never lied. I know I've lied, but nothing, in fact, has gotten me in trouble. Mm -hmm. And I'm not... I don't lie. I just over-exaggerate or misunderstand things. I can I can appreciate that, okay? I very much understand that, and I very much understand how people misunderstand and over-exaggerate, okay? I get that a lot, with especially with young people, especially with young people with hard pasts like but yourself. But I'm not over-exaggerating this. I'm not. Nothing at all? Nothing at all. So everything is exactly how you said it was? As I remember it, yes. Did your doctor take a picture of the bite mark on your chest? They took a swab of it. A swab? Okay. So the doctor has at least some writing that they observed it? Yes, they do. Okay. Why don't you hate I don't know, because I don't know him. 
You don't hate him because you don't know him. Exactly. He I attacked you and he took advantage of you and you don't hate him. I don't hate anyone. Nobody? No. I get angry with people and I feel hurt by them. But I don't hate people. What do you... What do you, in your deepest gut, want to do to... If you had the freedom and there was no law to stop you, what want, would you do? I just want him to not do that to other people. Because I know he's tried it with other people. Do you want him to hurt for what he did to you? No, I don't. You know? I, I want him to be a healthier person and make healthier choices. But you don't have resentment against him? Do you ever want to see him again? No. No? Do you ever want to confront him about this and talk to him about it? No. That's why I didn't want to press charges or do anything about it, but my foster parents said I had to. So you only came to the police because your foster parents made you? Are you regretting that decision? I didn't want to do it in the first place, so how can I regret it if I didn't want to do it? Mm -hmm. Are you regretting telling your foster parents, knowing that this is what's been the next 24 hours for you? Yeah, kind of. Yeah? Because no, no one believes me. Do your foster parents believe you? I don't know. I didn't ask them. Do you think they'll believe you? Probably. I don't know. I don't know what they would do. Did they believe you yesterday? Well, obviously my foster dad did because he took me to the hospital. Okay. And how about today? Do you think they still understand and believe that what happened I didn't is... talk to them at all today. Ask them what you think. I don't know. No. I don't know. No, like... I don't know. I thought that people believed me, but... I don't know anymore. I have trust issues as it is because of what my mom did to me. Mm -hmm. What's your biggest regret about yesterday? Going to his house. And if you could change one thing, what would it be? Going to his house, I would just stay on the bus and go to Peachland and go home. Do you think he thought that you were into it? Do you think he well, legitimately he thought... I think that he probably did because... you think he legitimately, honestly thought that you were into it? I think he did because he told me that he thought I was turned on and I just didn't respond to anything. Do you think at any point he thought he was raping you? I don't think so, no. Not at all? So he... Maybe when I tried to push him off, but he got off pretty soon after that. good at that. <laughs> what I don't want for you is for you to think that nobody ever believes you. That, that, it's too late for that. Okay. And late. what I don't want for you is for you to put yourself in a position where you find yourself in danger. I wouldn't ever come to the authorities again if something like this happened. I don't, what I'm saying is I don't want you to find yourself in a position where you put yourself in danger. I didn't purposely put myself in danger. Okay. I'm not trained to recognize these signs. Do you think you can get the help you need? I don't know. Oh. My counselor sucks. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go see her. Do you think we'll find anything in this water bottle? I, do I don't do even know where it is. The bus people probably took it away already. No, it gets collected once a week on Wednesdays and it's only Monday. So, I mean, it doesn't take much for us to swab 100 bottles, right? Do you think we're going to find anything? I don't know. I don't know if anything was even put in there or if it was just in my head because I was freaking out already. <laughs> it's just the way I felt at the time. Do you regret having sex with him? Of course. I have no regret not doing anything about it.
What have you learned? I don't know. I just learned that I can't trust people more. Who's the people you can't trust? The authorities, everyone, my social worker. The only person that I can't trust is my youth coordinator. Who's that? Well, her name is Shelly. Shelly. You guys, just so you know, what we'll we talked about here, you guys weren't here. Um, and as far as what we know, but unless you guys have anything else. Mm -hmm. I bet you probably want to get home. No, I don't want to go home. I don't know where I want to go. Do you want to maybe go and grab a burger? I don't know. And just chill for a bit before we do that? Did you want to do that? I don't know. What's safe for you? What is safe? I mean, I, I want you to understand it. Just because what you've told me and what you've been saying this entire time isn't necessarily true. We're not. I'm not against you. Okay. I don't want you to I think that. I don't believe that. that though. I don't so want you to think that. I, I know you're not going to believe it. I don't necessarily care what you say right now. I want you to go away knowing that I want you to live a healthy and happy life. That's what I want. Okay? I know, but I'm um, no. And I don't want you to think that cops hate you and that we're I, never going to believe you. I have you. every reason to believe that, though. Okay. I'm sorry you think that way. But you know I got in this job? I got in this to help people. And that and means not, not working And that means me, not so. hurting other people as well. It's not There's working two sides me, to so. this, and I can't hurt the side that's not... I'm not asking you to. I never asked to be here. My but foster parents set to. me up. They set you up? They wanted me to do this, and I didn't want to do it. Do you want people you to know your foster parents are obligated? Yeah, I know. That's, and I, didn't, I don't want to do it, though. I didn't want to do it, because I knew that this would happen. And you know that when I have to protect people, I have to protect both sides of the I know. story. I've grown up. My stepmom has been in and out of in and out of jail. I know. And so part of protecting people means finding out the truth. I know, but you don't always find out the truth, and that's all right. And I'm sorry that I couldn't today. nothing else to say. Okay. Well, I do thank you for sitting down with me. I know you don't feel that way, but I appreciate it. Part of our teachings is that you listen to other people even if you don't think what they have to, have to say is worth listening to. I think what you have to say is very much worth listening to. That's why I've given you two hours no, of I my mean, time. No, I mean me listening to you. I don't want to hear what you have to say, but well, I do. I appreciate that. That's a lot of respect, okay? That means a lot. Respect goes a long way with me. And I have a lot of respect for you as well. Okay? Mm -hmm. Just so you know that. I want to talk to you privately again. I would like to. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to get my story straight. Please. Um, so I met him downtown. I did know him once before. And he was with a friend and they were going to get alcohol and we were going to go have a drink, but the alcohol thing didn't work out, so I just went back to his place, and I I didn't quite understand the whole term of hooking up, so he yeah. was trying to kiss me, and I kept pulling away, and uh, he s told me that I was getting turned on because I was shaking, and then um, he was asking me to give him a hand job at least, and and 
basically saying that I was obligated to because I turned him on. And, um, just stuff like that. So, anyway, um, he, he got my, my shirt off and I wasn't, I told him I was self-conscious about my body, but he just pulled my shirt down anyway. And that's when he bit my breast. And, um, it was either I go on top of him or he's gonna come on top of me. So I went on top of him and then he flipped me over and I was underneath him. And, uh, I didn't say no, but I didn't say yes. And I knew that he was gonna do something to me anyway. So I grabbed a condom out of my bag because I, I knew that it was inevitable that I, that this would happen and because I didn't really know how to respond to it so I said if you're gonna do anything to me just please put this on because I, I I missed a day of birth control huh? so he put it on and then he went on top of me then I didn't consent to it but I didn't do anything and I did try to push him off towards the end I know. and then he finished and got off Thank you. Thank you for telling me. Mm -hmm. Okay. You are a um, you are a very wonderful person that has a lot of potential in your life. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to give you a lecture about lying. That's not what I want to do. I know. I want you to be safe. I, know, I want you to I don't be feel safe because I I just I don't know. His sister goes to my school. She's in my class. Now you understand that, you understand what I what I have to do to try and get you to tell me the truth, right? Mm -hmm. I don't want to hurt you, and I don't want to I hurt know. your feelings I by know. doing this, okay? I don't want you to think of me as a bad guy, okay? I know. I don't think of p police as bad people. I just don't think that I can trust them, because... But I want you to understand that if you tell me the whole truth... That was the whole truth. But that is now. Right? I know that's the truth, right? You know that I've been doing this job a long time, and that I can tell when someone's being a, yeah, a big liar, the same way and you can tell that I can tell when someone's being 100% truthful. You're not being a big liar, but you're not being the perfect truth teller either, right? Mm -hmm. And, and I honestly, I don't know if he drugged my water or if I was just feeling sick. I know. And because I didn't eat anything all day before that, so that's probably why I felt dizzy. Yeah. You kind of get low blood sugar, right? You know about that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry that you went through this, okay? I know you probably didn't want what happened last night to happen mm. to you. But it wasn't what you made out to be in the first place, right? Mm hmm You know that. And I apologize. Okay. Now, uh, kind of the hard part, I'm not, I'm not going to hold you accountable, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to do anything to make you um, get in trouble with me for not being honest, okay? That's mm -hmm. not what I want. Because what I want is for us to be on the same page. I want you and me to be able to, if you are in trouble in the future, I want you to be able to come to me. Mm -hmm. Because that's what I do. I help people. That's why I got in this job in the first place, is help people that are hurt and throw the bad guys in jail. That's, that's what I do. Mm -hmm. I like to do it, okay? And I want you to be able to understand that if you're truthful and honest, even if you think maybe you made a mistake, a tactical mistake along the way, mm -hmm. maybe, you know, maybe you did some drugs and found I, yourself in a bad place, I want you to be able to come to me as a policeman and tell me that's what happened. Yeah, I didn't do any drugs, though. I've been clean since January. No, no, sorry, I'm not saying <laughs> you did. I'm just giving you a, a, a pretend example yeah. so that you know in the future, if you did something, if you're drunk and you find yourself in a bad place in the future, I want you to be able to know that the police can help you. Mm -hmm. Okay? I never want you to see the police as bad people who want to hurt you or who want to accuse you of something you didn't do. I don't want you to think today I've accused you of lying where you haven't because you told me a lot of the truth. If this is a false lie, if this is a, a cheap romance novel off the shelf kind of a lie story, and this is the truth, you're over here, mm -hmm. right? But you're not here. Yeah, I... 
I don't know why I even went over to his house. I thought, uh, the only reason I went there is because I thought he had a friend with him in the beginning when we met him at Queensway. Yeah. And I thought that his friend was going to come too, so I felt a little bit more safe. And his sister got on the bus, and I thought they lived together, but apparently, I don't know if she like lives upstairs or lives down the street or something, but... And I thought that I was going to be safe with more people. That's the only reason I went to their house. But That's fair. But it turns out that the guys... The guy that was there and his sister didn't come. Okay. I'm sorry that happened. Can I ask you a question in the spirit of total honesty mm -hmm. here? Why did you not tell the whole truth at the beginning? Because I was scared and I, I was somewhere like in between wanting him to get into trouble, but somewhere in between him not wanting. That's why my story changed so much from it being his friend to being him and I was just really scared and don't know. I really don't know. Okay. Have you ever heard of something called restorative justice? Do you know no. what that is? Okay. Um, it's not it's not court. It's not like getting in trouble. It's important though, because mm -hmm. what it does is it kinda of brings people together with the people that have been damaged by hurt and wrongdoing. Mm -hmm. And kind of forces them to sit down and deal with it. Okay. Now, telling something a lie like this is big, but I don't want to make it big. Okay. I mm -hmm. want to make it as little as I can. I want to. I want to go to the lowest level I can of holding you accountable while still making sure that you understand that telling lies to the police is a big deal. Okay. Yep. I mean, well, it's just like it's kind of been my upbringing because one time, um, my stepmom, uh, they had a warrant out for her. And they were looking for her, and she wasn't supposed to be anywhere around us, but she was actually in the back room. But I answered the door crying and told the cops that she wasn't there when I was really young. Okay. And I know. Let's, like, let's, let's forget told, that, okay? Yeah. Yeah, I was just told to do that stuff. And I don't know why I did it. It's just something like okay. a protective thing. Yeah. Um, I'm going to recommend that you see this restorative justice system through. It's a good thing, okay? Believe me when I say so that it's a good thing. So would I have to talk to him then? Like? No. No, 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 no. We're not going to put you two in the same room at all, okay? Okay. As far as I'm concerned, he went over the line mm -hmm. with you, right? That's just, that's what I can see. He he didn't, he wasn't a man in the way that a man should treat a woman, right? Mm -hmm. That's not the way what happened, okay? I'm not going to force you to sit down with him. Um, but... It, what it is, is it's just a couple people that can just sit down with you and talk about how things, like telling lies, and how this hurts things, like spends a lot of taxpayers' money on like hospital bills mm -hmm. that maybe don't necessarily need to get spent, stuff like that. And the goal of it isn't, I mean, you don't get in trouble, there's no record. Yeah, but I needed all the hospital stuff done for evidence. Like, if it was in fact the truth. Yes, right. but it was the truth. He did take advantage of me. Mm -hmm. You're right, but not in necessarily the right way. And so what it is, is it's an educational tool, okay? It's not going to give you in trouble. It's not going to, you know, it's not going to make it seem like what you did was horribly wrong the whole way along, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, you were taken advantage of, so you think the next steps are this, but what it is, is it's education. And it says, yes, you were taken advantage of, but the next step should be this. And look at the hurt that gets happened when a lie becomes a little bit bigger. And look at how much time gets spent. But well, then what's he going to do? Like, is he going to get help? Is Again, you, know, you know what? I know who he is. Leave that to me, okay? Okay. Um, he does need help. Mm -hmm. And it is our goal to get people like that help the right way. It's also our goal to protect other people in the future. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let us look into that aspect of it. As far as the police goes, okay. you won't hear anything about that because it's just his like case. that's his business, just like this is our business, okay? okay? I won't tell him anything about you and me. Yeah, I don't really because want we to have, know anything. No, no, no. You and me have a have a bond of, of um, privacy between you and me, okay? Mm -hmm. And I will never breach that with you. I will never go to someone that is like that who hurt you and mm -hmm. tell them anything. Remember, my job's to protect you, okay? Is there anything, like any restorative justice for Aboriginal people, though? I'd feel much more comfortable in a sense. Let's look into that, okay? Okay. Let me look into that and get back to you. And I'll be in touch with the uh, the ministry workers here as well, just about looking into that, okay? Yep. Because I want you to, like I said, I want you I to be... I feel much more comfortable, though, like if, if they were involved. If they're involved? Okay, let's Like, to... with, um, no, I mean the Aboriginal community. Okay. I would learn easier... Okay.
Let's let's look into that. Okay, let's see if that's an option. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank okay. you. I, I mean, I Thanks really appreciate the respect. Okay. Like I said, I want you to be able to trust me in the future. Okay. I know that I'm here to help you. Okay. okay. And if you still need help from this, I know you will. Counseling to talk to someone, do that. Yeah, I need I need some um, help because um, my counselor that, that I'm with is not working out and we can't find someone and I need to find someone new. Because this counselor is so ridiculous. Well, let's talk to the ministry and we'll get them to help out, okay? Okay.